Hello, this is a getting started video and uh, in this video we will learn how to create a schematic in PSIM. So you got two options, one uh, from this welcome window, you can click uh, new schematic or uh, here in the file, new, or uh, you can also use this uh, shortcut. So create a new schematic, this is the very first step, you, you get a blank window where you can uh, create your schematic. Uh, the next thing is to add components. So in this particular uh, video, we'll use um, halfway rectifier as our test circuit. So we'll add components to um, create a halfway rectifier. So we need a uh, AC source and uh, we need uh, a resistive load and a diode. These are the three components that we'll need. So let's place a diode from uh, here uh, in the bottom. You can place here uh, to rotate your uh, device you can right click on your mouse and you can rotate it okay so right click is for um, rotating you can control and scroll to zoom in and zoom out uh, okay so um, next thing we, uh, we, uh, we are going to use is the source so I'm going to use an AC source and just click in place in here and press escape to select the next component so the next thing I'm going to select is the resistor so here I have the resistor I'll just right click to rotate and I'm going to place it here press escape okay now uh, to connect these components uh, we have this uh, option here wire or you can press W on your keyboard, uh, keyboard to uh, enable this uh, connection so start from one terminal and end at the another and similarly here you can make this connection as well so that's how we can make uh, connections so now we have our half a rectifier uh, the next thing uh, is to um, specify the parameters so I'll just double click and we have um the amplitude as 110 that, that's uh, remember it's the peak amplitude and here is a frequency so i'll just leave it uh, as it is and uh, here we have the resistance i'll just uh, move it to 20 okay and uh, now the uh, schematics is uh, kind of complete and uh, I'll just place a ground over here and again I'm, I'm going to wire it okay so the schematic is complete but to make uh, the measurements we need uh, some measurement uh, uh, components um, voltage measurement or current measurement so here we have a voltage probe I can add it on the load side and uh, notice this uh, little bubble it shows the positive end of the voltage measurement similarly for the resistor uh, the positive end is represented by this bubble and if, if you want to see the uh, also want to measure the input current I'll go for the I'll go for the input as well okay so uh, you can name these uh, uh, voltage measurement probes for example I can uh, use a label VS to represent the source side and uh, I'll label this V not to represent the load side okay now mm, we are ready for the simulation to uh, simulate it will go to uh, simulate and uh, simulation control and it will add this control and you, you just need to uh, place it in your schematic and uh, upon placing it will uh, show you some uh, parameters it says the step time uh, and uh, the total simulation time uh, this controls the total simulation time if you want to uh, end your simulation quickly you you need to specify um, 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 you can go 
a higher value if your uh, transient response doesn't end uh, soon okay so uh, if, if you uh, keep this value smaller uh, if you keep this value rather smaller your simulation will take uh, longer so uh, this is an important uh, these two are um, both are important okay so you just uh, close this and and now you can go and run simulation pcm simulation okay so when the simulation is done you can see the sim view uh, th that pops up and you can see here the source and the load voltage so i'll, I'll just plot the okay, remove one this is the output voltage and we can also view the source voltage here okay so that this shows the uh, the the label here shows you the vs and the upper one shows you the v naught and you can see that this uh, this the time that we we set was uh, 0 0.02 uh, so this is the um, simulation time so if if you change it to for example 0 0.03 and run again okay this time i'm going to select both uh, one way is to select both and add okay so now it, both are showing in one window and you can see that the simulation time uh, because of simulation time we, we have the uh, upper limit as 30 millisecond on the time axis okay so uh, that's a very uh, basic um, uh, basic introduction introduction of uh, pcm